G'day guys, welcome back to the Beers and Break Evens Late Show for round 24, answering all of your questions from an enormous week in coming our last few trades. They are ever so important. We've got some big decisions to make today for you guys. Timbo, welcome back in. You seem to be in a good mood today. I am in a good mood today. I, I go every season, like it's a long, long season, between starting the footy content from sort of mid-Jan sort of thing, mm. I always go through a bit of a post-origin slump. I think yeah. oh, there's a long way to go, especially when my team's going ordinary. That doesn't help. And then the final month, I just see the light at the end of the tunnel and I go, I'm just up and about. It's it's very exciting. Well, mate, have a look at your Supercoach rank. It looks like you've been in a bit of a slump since Origin last year. I know, but now I'm up and about. <laughs> it's up and about. <laughs> Katmandu, welcome in. Hello. Got some good questions loaded yeah, up. there's so many good questions. We've got a nice mix here. There's some super coach. There's some more general insight type questions. So we'll learn yeah. a bit more about each other, which will be great. Will be great. That's yeah. what we need. Uh, let's rock it off. Let's You're going it. for three, three or four in a row? I think it's three. Three in a row? Mm. <laughs> Kitties. All right, let's do it. This is, is uh, paper, paper rock. rock. Fuck. You are so bad. I know. It's <laughs> wild. Oh. It's wild. Fuck. So you, that's now... I've won something like 17 of 19. Something like that, yeah. Jeez. Shall we just dive right in? Because I don't know how many times. We Before can. we do get into the questions, I forgot to mention on Biz and Break Evans, we'll be on the live stream with Hello Sport on mm. Thursday night. So make sure you come and tune in for that. Panthers Melbourne. Yeah. Might be a little grand final preview. What a game to get for it. Absolute cracker. Looking forward to that. So Catman good. Do. So Questions. good. All right. First question is from Trizzle underscore Dizzle. Trade Jaden Campbell. Sorry, I missed the start of that. Who was it from? Trizzle underscore Dizzle. Lovely. Trade Jaden Campbell. Uh, I'm in camp. No, I have Jaden Campbell. I'm not stoked with him. I'm not playing him this week. I think 5 eight's a little bit like Hooker at the moment. Whoever you've got, I don't think there's much difference between all of them, to be honest with you. I wouldn't be wasting trades on 5 eight because personally, I don't think there's an absolute standout option that you need to have. I think they're all going to be a little bit up and down. I'm happy to stick with him. Why does Snoop Dogg need an umbrella? Bye. For drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? You're a fucking loser. Shall we just wrap the episode up here? Or? <laughs> uh, Jaden Campbell. I think he's a hold. I, I've seen like, – he's one of the most sold players this week. I know sub-53 of his last four games. As you said, I just – who's better than him at 5'8"? Obviously, if you've got him at fullback and you need someone in there, 100% do it. But – I just don't know who you're really bringing in that has a higher upside than him. I know the draw's a little bit tough. But the other thing is, tough games against the Roosters and Penrith. Penrith round 27, potential restings there. You can sit in those games. Yeah. Like, your squads are deep. Playing for the Dragons and the Knights where it could go 100 plus. Yeah, I'm not convinced he's a sell. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm not playing for the Dragons. I won't play in Roosters and Penrith. So the only game I will use him is for the Knights. But I, I'd still, it's trades I want to use elsewhere. Mm. I'm like... I'm okay with it. Cool. Let's move on. Not George's. It's not George's, okay, guys? No, okay. Who would you prioritise getting in, Gus, Manu or Young? Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's such a hard question. I have Dom Young ahead of Manu, just the upside. The ceiling's bigger. <laughs> I think, like, Dom Young will score more than Angus Crichton on the run home. My concern is that, like, Angus Crichton is the best in the 2RF position, whereas there are a lot of high upside CT dubs you can go with. There's also the hamstring concern for Dom Young on the run home. It's really tricky. I think Dom Young can finish enormously. I'm mm -hmm. going to say Dom Young won... Very narrowly ahead of Angus Crichton and Joey Manu three. Yeah, I agree with you, mate. I think Dom Young, like he has the potential to end a season here yes. if you don't have him. So I would go Dom Young, Angus, and then Joey Manu. But uh, yeah, I think I'd clearly have Angus over Manu in my opinion. Yeah, like Angus, if he has a huge end of the season, he could average 90 to 100. If the Roosters come and put big points on in these really soft matchups, Dom Young could average 130. I'll yep. be honest, it would not stun me. Like if the Roosters do what I think they're going to do against this opposition. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Cool. From nbabs86, when reloading the toilet paper roll, are you over the top or underneath person? I'll be honest with you. I don't have the slight – I'm not a scrunch person, I'm not a serial killer, but I don't know – I think I'd have to be there to see. I want to say over the top mm. is my feeling. What is what it, you, scrunch or fold? No, she's, no the question is – I think they're assuming you're not a scruncher, which 
Cletus over no, there no, might no, scrunch no, no, no. his this little has heart away. Absolutely nothing to do with scrunch or That's fold. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it's not that. It's they're assuming the, yeah. you're a folder, mm. and it's no, you go. no. It's it's not even to do with that. It's oh. just when the toilet paper is sitting on the roll. Sorry, when the roll is sitting on the in the bathroom in on the attachment, whatever it's called. Mm. The the paper is either coming under oh. or going over. Yes. Ah. Oh, whatever the hell Beck does. Well, tell know. me you don't refill the toilet roll much. Jeez. Well, I don't think about it when I do it. I don't think I care. No, I absolutely do. Over. That is how it's designed. It's not designed to come under. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I wouldn't me. give less shits, but I think the over does make more sense. It worked, yeah. And like there's literally the um, toilet roll holders that have the metal thing over the top that are designed to help you rip it off, which yeah. says that is how it's meant to be. Correct. Anyone who does the under just... Take a hike. Have you got one of those things in your house? No, I don't. Yeah, neither do I. My house isn't nice enough. Yeah, neither. Anyway, have you got one? No, but over. Over, yeah. Yeah. And I'm also over this conversation. Yeah, God, that was uh. a clusterfuck <laughs> to start. I apologise for that. Let's dive in to another super coach question. This one is from Lauren. Not to be confused with the Lauren that is Timmy's missus, unless it is from Timmy's Could missus. Be. Would you trade Hughes to Sam Walker if your head-to-head opponent had him? I would, Yeah. Which is crazy to think when you think uh, Jerome Hughes is averaging 74 for the season. But I just think a Penrith matchup this week, I think Jerome Hughes is actually very sitable out of his 17 if you've got depth. Uh, decent matchup next week. But then all the word is is that the Storm are going to rest for that Cowboys clash in round 26. Yeah, and, and I, I just think head-to-head finals, you're not really worried about round 27 at all. I think with Sammy Walker's run home, yeah, I'd make that trade. Yeah, I think it's a good trade. I also think Cam Munster back in is going to hurt Jerome Hughes a little bit. I think it already has to some extent. I think it will continue to, plus the buy. Rooster's good draw. Seems to me they're handing the keys to Sammy Walker. I think it's a good play. So some numbers around that. Uh, Maxie Bryden had him for SC Paper Class night. Jerome Hughes averaging this season 87.5 without Cam Munster, 62.4 alongside him. How, what, what's the sample? Oh, there was a few games at the start. Oh, was there a few games at the start of the season? Or? Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. It's enough. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so and, like, yeah. we've literally seen his, his scores drop off a map in the last three weeks. Yeah, I think just eye test. Yeah. It's been very evident. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sweet. Cool. This one is from Glenn Lockie. Walsh to who? Have enough cash for anyone. Big flex. Huge flex. Mm. Um, I... <sighs> I, I think Turbo is the scariest one. We sort of spoke about pre-show uh, when you have a look at comparing Teddy and Turbo that if Manly score points, I think, you know, Timmy said if they score 40, Turbo has to score 150 mm. essentially. The Roosters can have big games. And t- like when I was over there in Perth, Teddy didn't go enormous and they scored 40 mm. points. So I think Turbo, but I'm happy to wear I might be a little bit biased there obviously. What do you reckon, Big Dog? Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, just the form of Tom Trebojevic of late has been unbelievable. I mean, that being said, you look at the last scores of Teddy, 52, 126, 33 against Melbourne, 149, 116. Yeah. Uh, 151 a few weeks before that. I, I yeah, we touched on a beers and break I just think when Manly score points, it's Tom Trebojevic. When the Roosters score points, they have superstars everywhere and it could be anyone and it, they can elude Teddy occasionally. So narrowly, I would have... Turbo over Teddy. Big watch on Caelan Pong this week, how he goes against a tougher matchup against the Sharks because his last three weeks are outstanding. But, yeah, Tommy Turbo. The Manly Seagulls are, like, they're, they're no chance of resting in the last week, are they, where they're sitting there in sixth place. They can't make the top four. Teams will be too close for them. It's an interesting point. If they're fifth to six and can't move and have a home final locked in, does Tommy Turbo play around 27? Ooh, yeah, but will they have a home final locked in like they Well, I'm not an oracle, mate. The <laughs> yeah, cheers, fuckhead. I, I know that from this year. Don't worry about that. Um, the Cowboys are in seventh at the moment on twenty eight competition points. Yeah, maybe they will have one locked in. I think with their draw, they don't do a lot of losing in the final month, which means I think that fourth spot is going to be at least mathematically in play, if nothing else. So I suspect they'll be playing for something. But the Sharks also have a soft draw home. If, the, if them and the Roosters lock in 3-4, it could happen. I'll tell you what might actually go against them. The, the fact that they're playing the Sharkies, they might be playing the Sharkies for a top four spot. Ooh. That might be – True. That could be the deciding factor. There's three points separating them at the moment. I like the Sharks' <laughs> run home, to be fair. Yeah, I don't know. I 
Do you reckon Seabold's the kind of guy to rest this squad though? I uh, I think if they if there's nothing to gain from the game and you played Tom Trebojevic round 27, unless there's genuine science around we need him playing each week and whatever it is and workload, you couldn't play him round 27 in a dead rubber. Ooh, we'll see. Which is where a final trade up your sleeve for non Kalen Ponger owners who in that round comes up against the Dolphins in Newcastle. That's where a trade could be unbelievable. That's where a trade could be unbelievable. Who are the 27 matchups you will have? Yeah. Gutho against the Tigers could be interesting. Teddy against the Rabbitohs if you don't have Teddy in your case. Yeah. If the Bulldogs rest people, drink water against Canterbury could be interesting mm-hmm. as well for that last round. Dylan Edwards, Titans. <laughs> if he plays, there's a, there's a couple yeah. of interesting uh, interesting ones there to have a look at come then. Yeah. Next one, Katmandu and yours? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Chip and Chase podcast said, what's your go-to beverage for when you're watching a game of footy? Alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Mm. Schooner. <laughs> Little Roger Scooey. Yeah. Look, nothing like a – just a schooner straight off tap. Ideally a bloke beer. I had to think about that for a second, but absolutely a bloke beer. You know? I uh, I like to kick off the game with a schooner, mm. right? maybe a couple of schooners. Then when we get to about the 60th minute and we're into championship minutes, shift a bit of Keith over to the big boy. <laughs> Time to bring her home. Well, I'll, I'll give you the other one. If Dusty on a Sunday and the Sunday games kick off and you've had a big Saturday night and you go, oh. Can I guess? Yeah. I reckon you'll go like an alcoholic ginger beer. Nailed it. Yeah. Oh, those do go down when well. When you're in recovery mode, yeah. a ginger beer, they are exceptional. Yeah. Because the hit. ginger is like helping a bit you know, rebalance the system. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a health choice. Yeah. Absolutely. I like that. Thanks. Good shout. Rate it. I'm uh, all for the Coke Zero. So if you're a non-alcoholic fan like myself, you're this is a safe space for you. <laughs> I'm trying to think if we have any more questions, but I think that might be it. Is that us done and That's dusted? That's us done and dusted. Beautiful. Uh, thank you guys for joining us once again on the late show heading into round 24. Best of luck with all of your captaincies and everything. Keep an eye on the uh, Lomax v Manu Cup between me and Timbo. It's going to be a big old run home that we're very, very much so looking forward to. Uh, stay tuned to SC Playbook, uh, the Rue Crew and whatnot. We'll let you know our updated trades and everything throughout the weekend. I'll let you know the much-anticipated Katmandu trades mm-hmm. this weekend, what she's going to do. I feel a boost brewing. Yeah, me too. Surely. Surely. Me too. Have to be cowardly not to. It would be cowardly not to. We'll, we'll, I'm we'll quite talk. tempted by the little CTW situation. Yeah, there's a few big plays yeah. you can make there. Uh, thank you for joining us once again, guys. We will see you next week on Beers and Breakevens. Thank you.